How to be happy, 10 habits to add to your routine. Everyone's definition of happiness is different. Maybe it's being content with who you are for yourself. Or having a safe group of pals that accept you no matter what. Or the ability to follow your deepest desires. Living a happier, more fulfilling life is possible, regardless of your definition of ultimate happiness. A few changes to your daily routine will help you get there. Habits matter. If you've ever tried breaking a bad habit, you know all too well how ingrained they are. Well, good habits are deeply ingrained, too. Why not work on making positive habits part of your routine? Here's a look at some daily, monthly, and yearly habits to help kickstart your quest. Just remember that everyone's version of happiness is a little different, and so is their path to achieving it. If some of these habits create added stress or just don't fit your lifestyle, ditch them. With a little time and practice, you'll figure out what does and doesn't work for you. Daily Habits Number 1. Smile When you're pleased, you tend to smile. It is, however, a two-way street. We smile because we're pleased, and smiling triggers the release of dopamine in the brain, which makes us feel better. That doesn't mean you have to plaster a phony smile on your face all of the time. However, the next time you're feeling down, try smiling and see what happens. Alternatively, try smiling at yourself in the mirror first thing in the morning. Number 2. Exercise Exercise isn't just for your body. Regular exercise can help to reduce stress, feelings of anxiety, and symptoms of depression while boosting self-esteem and happiness. Even a small amount of physical activity can make a difference. You don't have to train for a triathlon or scale a cliff unless that's what makes you happy, of course. The trick is not to overexert. If you suddenly throw yourself into a strenuous routine, you'll probably just end up frustrated and sore. Consider these exercise starters. Take a walk around the block every night after dinner. Sign up for a beginner's class in yoga or tai chi. Start your day with 5 minutes of stretching. Remind yourself of any fun activities you once enjoyed, but that has fallen by the wayside. Or activities you always wanted to try, such as golf, bowling, or dancing. Number 3. Get plenty of sleep. No matter how much modern society steers us toward less sleep, we know that adequate sleep is a vital trusted source to good health, brain function, and emotional well-being. Most adults need about 7 or 8 hours of sleep every night. If you find yourself fighting the urge to nap during the day or just generally feel like you're in a fog, your body may be telling you it needs more rest. Here are a few tips to help you build a better sleep routine. Write down how many hours of sleep you get each night and how rested you feel. After a week, you should have a better idea of how you're doing. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, including weekends. Reserve the hour before bed as quiet time. Take a bath, read, or do something relaxing. Avoid heavy eating and drinking. Keep your bedroom dark, cool, and quiet. Invest in some good bedding. If you have to take a nap, try to limit it to 20 minutes. If you consistently have problems sleeping, talk to your doctor. You may have a sleep disorder requiring treatment. Number 4. Eat with the mood in mind. You already know that food choice have an impact on your overall physical health. But some foods can also affect your state of mind. For example, carbohydrates release serotonin, a feel-good hormone. Just keep simple carbs foods high in sugar and starch to a minimum, because that energy surge is short and you'll crash. Complex carbs, such as vegetables, beans, and whole grains, are better. Lean meat, poultry, legumes, and dairy are high in protein. These foods release dopamine and norepinephrine, which boost energy and concentration. Highly processed or deep-fried foods tend to leave you feeling down. So will skipping meals. Start by making one better food choice each day. For example, swap a big, sweet breakfast pastry for some Greek yogurt with fruit. You'll still satisfy your sweet tooth and the protein will help you avoid a mid-morning energy crash. Try adding in a new food swap each week. Number 5. Be grateful. Simply being grateful can give your mood a big boost, among other benefits. 
For example, a recent two-part study found that practicing gratitude can have a significant impact on feelings of hope and happiness. Start each day by acknowledging one thing you're grateful for. You can do this while you're brushing your teeth or just waiting for that snoozed alarm to go off. As you go about your day, try to keep an eye out for pleasant things in your life. They can be big things, such as knowing that someone loves you or getting a well-deserved promotion. But they can also be little things, such as a co-worker who offered you a cup of coffee or the neighbor who waved to you. Maybe even just the warmth of the sun on your skin. With a little practice, you may even become more aware of all the positive things around you. Number 6. Give a compliment. Research shows that performing acts of kindness can help you feel more satisfied. Giving a sincere compliment is a quick, easy way to brighten someone's day while giving your happiness a boost. Catch the person's eye and say it with a smile so they know you mean it. You might be surprised by how good it makes you feel. If you want to offer someone a compliment on their physical appearance, make sure to do it respectfully. Number 7. Breathe deeply. You're tense, your shoulders are tight, and you feel as though you just might lose it. We all know that feeling. Instinct may tell you to take a long, deep breath to calm yourself down. Turns out, that instinct is a good. 1. According to Harvard Health, deep breathing exercises can help. Reduce stress. The next time you feel stressed or at your wit's end, work through these steps. Close your eyes. Try to envision a happy memory or beautiful place. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. Slowly breathe out through your mouth or nose. Repeat this process several times until you start to feel yourself calm down. If you're having a hard time taking slow, deliberate breaths, try counting to five in your head with each inhale and exhale. Number 8. Acknowledge the unhappy moments. A positive attitude is generally a good thing, but bad things happen to everyone. It's just part of life. If you get some bad news, make a mistake, or just feel like you're in a funk, don't try to pretend you're happy. Acknowledge the feeling of unhappiness, letting yourself experience it for a moment. Then, shift your focus toward what made you feel this way and what it might take to recover. Would a deep breathing exercise help? A long walk outside? Talking it over with someone? Let the moment pass and take care of yourself. Remember, no one's happy all the time. Number 9. Keep a journal. A journal is a good way to organize your thoughts, analyze your feelings, and make plans. And you don't have to be a literary genius or write volumes to benefit. It can be as simple as jotting down a few thoughts before you go to bed. If putting certain things in writing makes you nervous, you can always shred them when you've finished. It's the process that counts. Number 10. Face stress head on. Life is full of stressors, and it's impossible to avoid all of them. There's no need to. For those stressors you can't avoid, remind yourself that everyone has stress, there's no reason to think it's all on you. And chances are, you're stronger than you think you are. Instead of letting yourself get overwhelmed, try to tackle the stressor head-on. This might mean initiating an uncomfortable conversation or putting in some extra work, but the sooner you tackle it, the sooner the pit in your stomach will start to shrink. Scientific evidence suggests that being happy may have major benefits for your health. For starters, being happy promotes a healthy lifestyle. It may also help combat stress, boost your immune system, protect your heart and reduce pain. What's more, it may even increase your life expectancy. Add these simple steps to your daily routine, it will really help you a lot to maintain a happy life. Wish you a happy life.